Uh, okay, our game is called Spin to Win. Um, it's a team game, so it will work for potentially quite a large, um, large group, um, but we reckon that about 10 to 15 is probably the maximum for, for each team. Um, with the two teams will be red and black. It's based on a kind of roulette principle. Um, so the, the teams will work together with a spokesman. So the first thing that has to happen is that the team, the, well, whoever's in charge, and there will be a, a um, facilitator of some sort or another, a games master, will make sure that the two teams are split up evenly in your room, and then each of those teams needs to elect a team captain and a spokesman. And the aim is to be the team with the highest number of points or highest number of counters, highest uh, win um, at the end of an allocated time period. So it's something that we thought it's ideally suited for a, a fairly uh, initial level induction type program. Um, and we think you do it at the end of a session to reinforce the learning, to so make sure that they've actually understood what it is you've been trying to get across with a few sort of um, other things thrown in to a few questions that you might not have covered that they can have a stab at just to make it more interesting. Um, and uh, we reckon it will take about 15 minutes. So, um, are we going to be, are you two going to be, you're going to be red and black, are you? We're going to be red and black. Red. So one team's red and one yeah, team's black. black. Oh, yes, yes. And the, the game maker spins the wheel. Yep. It's a very good spin. <laughs> <laughs> And it's black, and we haven't decided who's you can be red and you can be black. Okay, okay so it's yeah. a black question. How okay, so many what, yes. tokens do you want to bet? Right, I'm given, I'm allocated five tokens to start with. Um, I can, my team, this is all for my team, and we can choose how many we want to uh, bet for the question. We don't know what the question is, um, but we can choose to bet up to three counters as a maximum. Um, and we have no idea how hard or easy the question's going to be and whether, we're, whether or not we're likely to know it. So it's a, it's a pure gamble. If we guess it right, then we double our counters. If we guess it wrong, we give those counters to the other side. So um, I'll bet uh, two, please. Two. And your question is? The number on the spine of the... This, uh, on the number on the spine of the book is the next number in the sequence from when we bought the book. True or false? Um, I think that's false. Correct. So you win. I have to work it out. <laughs> 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 so you win three more tokens. Two, two. 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 sorry. <laughs> I have to apologise. I wrote the cards and my handwriting is dreadful. So <laughs> it doesn't help. And so now I spin again. And it could be that we end up with another black question, which we have. So it's another black question. We do hope at some point it evens out. Can you bet again? Mm -hmm. Are we going to bet again? How many are going to bet this time? Oh, well, I'll get three this time. Oh, three, okay. Yeah. Right. You can print out the whole of an e-book if you want to. True or false? Um, <laughs> true. True, surely. That's false. Oh, so, okay then. I get the three that you bet. You, you get, get the three that you bet. Sorry. And then it add infinitum until we, mm. we call her. So the reason for that is that she can end up answering all the questions, but I still get to win counters, mm. so I don't feel yeah. 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 So the other thing is we thought that you, because this is so simple and that doesn't really uh, limit you to whatever question you want, mm. you could have a set of cards for whatever you've been teaching. Mm. So if you were doing an e-book session, you could have a whole set of cards purely on e-books mm. if you wanted to, or you could even do Harvard. You could do whatever you like. You just sort of making people answer questions in a different way. So it's quite adaptable. The only thing we did think about was whether gambling is culturally acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> and then ignored it and carried on. Yeah. <laughs> we decided it was a game of chance rather than gambling. Mm -hmm. that makes a difference. <laughs> well, thank you. Are there any questions or comments for this game, please? We did think about that at the start, but we thought it was too difficult in terms of asking the questions. Yeah. 
we thought we'd put the onus on the students to guess whether the, how well they'd been paying attention. So they're the ones, in a sense, that kind of think, well, I'm going to answer the question. Otherwise, you'd have to have a pile of easy questions, a pile of difficult mm. questions, and a pile of simple questions. And we thought that just fell into the too difficult part, to be honest, for us. Mm. I think we're trying to keep it as simple as possible. So there are some questions in there that are harder than others. Mm. Mm. Um, but we try to keep it as a yes, no, true, false, yeah. mm. or options, answers. To, to make it easier for them so there wasn't lots of discussion going on and dragging the game out for, for too long. Because it really is only a simple, it's like a recap um, of the session, it's not supposed to be that challenging in a sense. It's so so we would have a prize, I think we forgot to mention that, is that we thought it was quite important. A prize or certificate or something like that. Yeah. So are you, are you two answering on behalf of the team? Yes. 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 So yes. the teams would nominate you yeah. or would, would there be discussion before you answer the question? Yeah, it would be very much like University Challenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>